feel like like a lot of the corporate media smash mouths who support the despots are like saying like, oh yeah, the Occupy movement doesn't, doesn't have a message. And uh, I just feel like that's like a dastardly insult to like the millions of people that are like occupying like around the globe. You know, having people walk up and having these really um, intense conversations about just that itch at the back of your mind, just something's not right. Systemically, socially, something is putting these pressures upon us that we don't really need. I kept hearing the same things that people had complaints about, and it ended up a lot of the talks were about money, the systemic problems around that. Who has to pay when you raise student tuition, and who profits from it? The university doesn't really profit from it because they just get the same money that they were getting to run their operation. The banks make the loans, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we pay back at interest this year. So the banks are the people that are profiting. You know, if I can say it in a sense, it's for the state to invest more in higher education. Again, like it used to. This is a public institution of education, and yet the very people over whom the institution does hold power have no say whatever in how that power is executed. It was just a lot of expression that the students were able to engage in which they they aren't otherwise. The university is rigid in the ways that it kind of squelches your, your freedom of expression. If we were able to communicate and sit down, get to the root of things and understand and realize what is the problem and what a feasible solution is, and it goes back to the divide and conquer. It seems like they want us to be atomized, like individual, self-censored. And one of the good things about the Occupy movement is that it provides a space for people to engage in dialogue. Yeah, we can't come to a solution because it's so complex, the issues are so complex, but at least we could, the least we could do is talk about it and laugh about it. It takes collective thinking, recognizes the complexity of all the problems we're facing today, the globally integrated capitalist world, right? <laughs> and says, we need to stop. That's the first step. We need to stop, slow down, think together, and construct something as we do so. The more conversations that more and more people have, we could ultimately come to a consensus. One of the like complaints about the Occupy is that it's like they don't have a leader. I'm not a representative of, of Occupy. No one is a representative of, of Occupy because as a movement, it's an anti-representational movement.